name is Jackson Benyon. I'm a blacksmith out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Today we're going to be heat treating this little uh, survival style drop point hunter knife um, out of ADCRB2. Uh, the reason I am filming this heat treat versus a regular one is because I'm trying something new with this one and I want to document my results. I'm attempting a more scientific heat treat than I usually do. I'm employing methods that I have not before, such as cryo treating. Um, so the actual quench will be normal. Um, the normalization cycle, I'm going to try something that I learned from Life Still Nerds that I'll explain in a second. Uh, then we'll quench in Parks AAA, heat it to 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the only way that works. And then into my just like Hardness over toughness in this heat treat. Uh, it's, it's just kind of what I want to do for this. I don't really have a reason to do so or not do so, but I've got a baffle here. It's just heat treating on the forge. I don't have some fancy paragon heat treating oven or something like that. So it's a fairly rudimentary heat treat, but I believe that if I apply a bit more knowledge of metallurgy to this heat treat, it will come out a higher quality than some of the others I've done. So I have everything surface finished up to. So this is it. This is the uh, 
quench right here. Well, I'm heating up and getting through the quench, but I imagine it won't take me very long. I uh, don't know if you saw in the uh, other parts of this, but I kind of abandoned the baffle. Um, this knife is a little too big to fit in it. That baffle is typically what I use for swords and uh, other large, long, skinny things, but this is just too big. So it didn't fit, so I'm doing it a lot more rudimentary than I would have liked, but that's all right. It's, it's gonna turn out, I know that much. Um, got that nice dull red and that last normalization cycle. Got my magnet right here, oil. Let me check the temp of the oil one more time. We can set that in there pretty far. at around 130, which is fine. I'm okay with that. It's not quite 125. I really don't care. It'll serve its purpose. It'll do okay. Got that tang heated up nicely as well. I don't think this is going to be a straightening jig. So now it's moving in and out very thoroughly, maintaining a nice, even color and heat. Um, I didn't really get the set up to show you all, but that's fine. Oh, but a giant cardboard box on top of it. Okay, got that in there. I have a nice metal bar that's been sitting in here for this to sit on. So now we just let it sit. Okay, and then close the freezer. Sorry you can't see anything. I'll pop over there in a second with the camera, but. Uh, they're good enough. It's just sitting right there. Little contraption next to my far ice cream, which is kind of a shame. I really am craving ice cream now. Um, so we're gonna let that, and my Red Baron pizzas. Uh, we're gonna let that sit for, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So this is this is after the uh, uh, the quench and putting it into the uh, the freezer. Um, I think I'm going to take the person who taught me advice and, and literally go to bed um, and take it out when I wake up. He said overnight. We'll see what happens. I mean, it was an experimental piece to begin with. Um, I know nothing about cryo treating, uh, so it'll be interesting to see the results. I should really get myself a set of Rockwell tester files, because I'm not going to invest in an entire machine to ch just, to just to test Rockwell hardness. Um, and the files will do fine, but I don't even have those. 
so I can't give like accurate numbers or data or anything. I can just say, yep, it worked. It, it didn't break. And I consider that working. Um, this is one of the most rudimentary heat treats I've ever done. Um, <laughs> I mean, my, uh, my baffle, which was a piece of angle iron, ended up not working. Um, my oil was probably a little too hot or cold. I don't know. I don't even know if I have a right thermometer. I have a turkey thermometer in my oil. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm heat treating out of a forge. I'm, my only way of telling temperature is sight and magnetism. And my knife is currently sitting next to far double pint vanilla bean ice cream. So if this works, I'm going to call it a pretty good, you know, good success. See you then uh, for tempering when it's ready. I don't know. I don't know if I like completely messed this up or didn't do it right. I don't know. No clue. All right. So I have my oven set at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to put that in there for two, two hour cycles. Um, just because I like optimizing hardness over toughness and I could always blue back the spine and over temper the spine if I really need to. So it has optimized toughness, I believe. Anyways, um, so I'm just going to quench in water in between and do another cycle and then I'll see when it's up. All right, so here's the knife after um, heat treat um, and what feels like eons of hand sanding at 320 grit, which I feel as though is an appropriate grit to leave it at just because I'm not worried about getting an extremely high finish on this knife. So. The next step now is, uh, like I said, I was just documenting uh, somewhat of an experiment, but I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I filed it and it felt harder than my other ones. I, there's no distinguishable difference that I can tell. Maybe there's some more Rockwell points in there. I don't know. I don't have testers for that. Um, point is, it didn't break, and I consider that a success. I don't know why putting it in the freezer would have broken it, but either way, it was just, uh, it was a successful heat treat, and I have a good blade. So uh, follow this, the progress of this knife to the next video because if you didn't notice I heat treated it without um, putting pinholes in for the tang. And the reason for that is because then my next video is going to be an instructional video on how to do a paracord handle wrap and that'll be coming out hopefully in the next couple days. So I hope you all stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye.